Hello, my name is Kevin and welcome to the Love Decanters channel. So, I'm going to talk about Stuart Crystal Star Time Pattern. It kind of looks like this, as you can see. Focus, there you go. It's got stars on it, yeah. So, um, I don't have much glass. But what I have is quite interesting. Yeah, it mysteriously says it's quite interesting. Yes. So, um, but what I will do is I will show you the references I have because it was made over quite a long time. And I can show you from when, roughly when it starts until the end. And yeah. So anyway, so with that said, let's get on and have a look at the references I have. And, um, and then we'll have a look at the glass. Okay, let's go. We're looking at the Stuart Crystal 1927 catalogue. And if you join the Stuart Crystal Collectors Facebook group, you can download all of the catalogues in there that I'm going to show you uh, from the file section. So they're all there to be had for yourselves if you want to have a copy. So, yeah, there is no star time in 1927. So yeah, that's just for dramatic effect. Uh, so um, jump forward. So this is the catalogue for 1938. And yeah, look, here it is. But there's no pattern name. You can see that the, at this time, uh, there might be the odd pattern name, but most of the stuff that they had didn't have a name like it does later. Uh, so it's um, 27542. There you go, and it's a few bits. And I think if I scroll through the rest of it, you'd find bowls and a few other bits and pieces, but this is the bulk of it, okay, at that time. And um, yeah, if we jump, I'm gonna go back a bit, a little bit. So this is a, an advert um, from around the time. And I don't know if these are start time. It just says brightly cut for a set, different, no, it's got a different number. I mean, this is a different service. There's also in here, if I keep going, it's quite a way down. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There you go. There's this cocktail set as well. Um, actually, let me just think. If I go back to here, pattern number 27542. It's got a pattern number here. And it's actually got uh, a later number. So this is probably the year after. So there we go. I don't know if this, is, this still counts as star time or not. But then, as I said, star time doesn't exist as a pattern number where they lump it all together. So I'm going to jump forward in time to 1964. This is the next catalogue I have. And here is the pattern. Um, on this one, you can see it's called star time and there's also stars around the foot as well as around the bowl. I don't think you can really tell on here. Not that one, that one. Doesn't look like there is stars here, but there is stars. Am I opening the right one? Yes, here. And this is what you get with star time. So it's now quite an extensive pattern. Um, the tumblers are not the same as the ones we saw here. There's no cocktail shaker, but most of the cocktail shakers, as far as I know, I think they disappeared by 1964. And so there we go. This is what we've got in 1964. And then if I jump forward to 1972, it's here again. Here, it's difficult to tell. The stars look thinner. Hang on. See, they look fat here and they look thin here. It's di very difficult to tell. Um, and uh, yeah, if we go down here, the pattern is much reduced, but it's still called star time. And then what else? Also, I have a little bit of it here. Um, so this is so that was the wine service isn't this this is in the miscellaneous and also if you go to replacements you can see it appear there and i think 
that is where we're at with it as far as the references go. So I do have more glasses than these, but I only have glasses and they all vaguely look like this, okay? Apart from the fact that these glasses are not exactly the same. So let's start with the one on the left, the bigger one. And if you look, it's got the little stars around the base. It's got five stars. And then it's got these stars on here. Can you see? Will it focus on the stars? Come on, do it. Do it, there you go. Yeah. Then I've got this one, which, so I think this is like, like the one we saw in the 1964 catalog. This one is like, I think in the 1972 catalog. So the stars are much thinner. Can you see? Um, and there's no stars on the base. It does, it is Mark Stewart, England though. And then we have this one, which is really the odd one out because I don't know where that fits in the timeline. I think it's pre-war, but look at that. It's got matte leaves cut into the base. Um, I've seen this on other things, on decanters and stuff like that, and on other Stuart glasses. It's a thing that they do. It's still got the same little, little slash cuts around the stem. They all have that. And they're all kind of like, you can see they're all from, although they're different sizes, they're all from the same pattern. So yeah, so that's what I have and it just shows you, uh, theoretically these are all from the same pattern, but if you're trying to collect a service, this doesn't make it easy. I thought I was getting a bit of a service together and then I actually pulled them out and had a look and went, oh dear, there are, there's three different kinds of glasses here, which is a bit of a pain. So anyway, just thought you'd like to see that, just to see that they're not always the same. So there you have it. I bet you can hardly contain yourself at that revelation that I showed you when you saw the glasses. Yes. Shocking, isn't it? And it's the same for other Stuart patterns. I've seen a few other little variations around. And um, yeah, just something to be aware of if you're trying to collect a service. That, mm, not always the same pattern means it's exactly the same. Um, you may end up, what's it called? I can't remember. Um, matched, a matched set, okay? Which means uh, glasses that are supposed to be the same might not be quite the same because they weren't originally bought together. So yeah, watch out for that one. So uh, with that said, uh, I will give you a link to the Stuart Crystal Collectors Facebook group in the description below. And what else? And also for replacements.com. And what else? And um, yeah, I think that's it. So um, thank you for watching. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. And have a good night. Good night.